Live from the Duncan Latte Lounge. All right, what's up? I'm Brady from uh, Z100, and welcome to the Duncan Latte Lounge, which is actually just my kitchen table uh, for today, thanks to technology. Uh, yo, today here we have uh, a new artist who uh, her music is really, really dope too. It's got like this, it, you know, it, it's to describe it, I guess, like is pop music, but with like an edge. That's kind of like the vibe I get with listening to it. So please welcome Gia Woods. Hello, hello. What's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. Like we were just talking before we started recording. We both literally just woke up 10 minutes oh, ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you look this amazing waking up. Uh, because I don't know if you can see the dark circles under my eyes. Oh my god, know. no, I'm I'm covering it. That's what, that's my that's my trick. <laughs> okay, good for you, good for you. I should have done that too. And maybe get a little Dunkin' latte. Yeah, look, I'm down. Let's go. Uh, but, yo, I get, actually would get, love that. That sounds so good right now. Oh my god. Right? Maybe get one of those uh, Impossible sausage sandwiches too. I've never had, but that sounds so delicious. Right yo, now. you need to. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Like, first, well, first off, you'll have no idea that it's even not, it's not sausage, but it tastes just like sausage. Oh, and uh, I'm, ve I'm vegan. I'm Are vegan. So I, yeah. Oh, so I've been like, I've been, I've been discovering a lot, you know, and it's nice to see things like Duncan finally, uh, you know. Yeah, I actually didn't think that they, that, like, that's so awesome that they did that. That's really yeah. cool. Wow. Yeah, totally. Totally. So, but uh yeah, now I'm hungry. Crap. Now I'm you know, hungry. Listen. I know. I haven't eaten or had any coffee. This is all I've had, just water. Yeah. Like, yeah and this is not enough. Yo, you know what? Forget the interview. Let's do Uber Eats. Let's, let's do uh, it. Let's, let's go right. there. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Let's talk about your music, actually, a little bit. Let's uh, do it. <laughs> a little bit. And then we'll, get, then we'll do the Uber I Eats. I guess. I guess we can do that. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Well, yeah. You know what? For those that don't know who you are, uh, and maybe are just discovering you for the first time, like watching this video, maybe like, you know, kind of give us a little background, like, you know, who you are, where you're from, like kind of what you're about. Yeah. So I'm an artist from Los Angeles, California. Hey. And um, I've always been obsessed with music. Like it's been always a part of my life one way or another. And it was more of a hobby growing up because I was just you know, teaching myself how to play guitar at a young age from like seven. And um, I was always in orchestra, like in elementary school, I played the violin. And then I went to preschool and I mean, sorry, uh, middle school and high school. And I started playing um, guitar way more than ever. And, and that's where I was also singing a lot and writing a lot. So music was always a part of me, but I never like was like, I want to go do music. Like, this is my goal. Like, I, I, like, I've always wanted to, but I also was like, I don't know how to start. I don't know where to go. Like, I, the only thing I knew of was American Idol, which, like, I'm not about to go do that. Uh, I don't but... need to be attacked by Simon Cowell. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, um, you know, I kind of just was, like, going to go the normal route, like, go to college. But um, in high school, for my choir class, we had a bunch of high school little um little talent show performances but it was through my choir so if you were in the choir like that's the those are the only people that could do it so um my friends snuck my name onto that list without telling me and i didn't see it until the next day and i woke up and i was like walking to class and i was like why is my name on this list like i didn't put my name on this like talent show list and then the teacher's like, well, your name's on there and you're going to have to audition. And I was like, are oh you kidding God. me? <laughs> I'm so shy. I don't sing in front of, I would literally never sing in front of anybody. Like I, I was just that shy, quiet, awkward girl growing up. I just, okay. I barely had any friends. I don't know how I changed and who I am now, but like, if you met me back then, <laughs> completely different person. And it's called a glow up. Um, exactly. I glow up. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> So yeah, I showed up and I, I had to do it. So I did it and I did a song by the Beatles called okay. Nowhere Man. And I sang that with two of my friends because you can kind of like invite whoever you want like to harmonize and stuff. Um, and after that performance, I actually got scouted through that performance from some, from this, uh, this female manager, Ann R girl who came through and she was there because her best friend's little brother went to my school. So okay. she wasn't like creepy. She wasn't just like there and scouting. Yes. <laughs> <Okay. Yeah. laughs> she was there because of that. And um, I guess she was also on the job hunt of scouting artists. So she was like, I want to go find the new talent that's out of school, which is actually a smart thing to do, I think. Um, but 
yeah, so I met this this lady through that and, and me and her became really close and she actually took me under her wing and she started managing me for like a good amount of time. And um, yeah, I put out my first song, which is called Only a Girl, uh, which was also my coming out to my parents and like everybody in the, like, the world, anyone who knew me. Um, and that's kind of where it all started as I, it was, was that was that first song. And I think I put that in 2016, was it? I'm like, not sure. <laughs> I should know this, but. Wait, so, uh, so, so that was your coming out song. Did, did you, did you, okay. So you, you, for your whole parents and, and everybody, you know, did you like to announce your coming out? Did you like bring your parents into the living room and then just play the song? Well, so I like, so the video premiered. And so I walked into their room that morning and I was like, I want to show you guys the video because I was a little afraid to show them like the, you know, the, the day before or any time before I was kind of just like, I want to let them see it when it's out. And okay. so it came out and I ran to their room and um, I showed them the video and they were like, oh, this is really cool. Like, this is like that one girl, Katy Perry, I kissed a girl or whatever. <laughs> it's like, uh, I Mom. don't know what that means, but like, this is, this is my, com this is me, this is me. I don't know <laughs> what you mean by that. Like, you yeah. know, no shade to Katy. I just don't know what that meant. And so I was like, no, and she's like, you're just like, I can see like, you're doing this for, to get, you know, people to, to look at you, like as attention. I was like, what? Like, no, this is actually like my song. This is a song I wrote that's genuine to me. And, yeah. and I put so much work into this. And it was just a really like interesting reaction because I think my parents are just, they're old fashioned Persians. So like, I kind of understand where they're coming from, but it was definitely like annoying and brutal and, 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 you know, disappointing to have that reaction from them. But um, yeah, <laughs> that was the, that okay. was the reaction, <laughs> but you I was like, what? okay. <laughs> you know, just kind of like having to explain, you're just like every little thing, like you're dropping every little hint and then they're just not, you know, getting it. You just gotta, like, it. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, for me, it was really hard to even just like do that. So like to have a conversation on the side and be like, Hey guys, I really want to talk to you. Like, that's something like, I'm not going to lie. I haven't done to this day. Like I've never sat them down and been like, yo, mom, dad. I'm gay. Like, that's it. <laughs> like, no, they just... it's just like something I feel like it's always been a little hard for me to do with, with like the vocal, like vocalizing that to them just because every time I've tried to, I've always kind of been shut down. So it's kind of like, okay. you know what I mean? But I think they know, I mean, there's no way they don't know. And, and like my mom has, you know, met my past relationship partners and um, they know that they're not just people I'm having sleepovers with every night. Like what, th that doesn't yeah. matter, right? So yeah. like, you know, and I We're would- watching The Little Mermaid Mom, please. <laughs> exactly. Or like family occasion, like, uh, you know, things like Christmas or Thanksgiving, like I always would bring the same person. So it's like, come on, da da. <laughs> but yeah. my sister knows, she's my she's cousins together. know, like a lot of my family knows. It's just like the conversation was never really, said like that verbally to my parents but you know it is what it is and i think the time will come when like, they see me walking down the aisle <laughs> like, yeah it's yeah that totally too. so there you go <laughs> yeah totally there you go yeah for sure i think i think that's what's you know in, in music like songs like that and and messages you know that you're spreading like it, they're needed because it, especially like in this world with all this craziness going on you know people you know and and all this like inequality you know just things like this you know kind of like show like hey we're just people too you know what i mean and, you know we, we are the same you know we're all the same we all love the same way doesn't matter who it is you know doesn't you know we all you know we still all love the same way we're all the same people shut the hell up you know yeah, no literally it, i mean it should that's be pretty normal. much it like it should yeah. be normalized you know that's my biggest goal is like when is it when it like when is the day that it's just gonna be seen as just the same as like yes. straight like anything yeah. you know so yeah <laughs> which which i i think it's probably i wouldn't say like right there but it's definitely like it feels that way in a lot of ways now yeah you know what i mean I, I don't think people bat an eye you know as yeah. they would have you know 20 years ago or something like that yeah so I think, it's, really, it's we've progressed a lot like if you think about it so yeah you know we got some ways to go but i'm happy that like you know, we do have these social media outlets that 
you know, like highlight so many other people's stories and backgrounds on, like people finally can, as like a little kid can see that, oh, I'm not, I'm not weird. Like there's nothing wrong yeah. with me. Like I didn't have that growing up. So like, it's so nice that, you know, the new generation kind of has that and they can see like, there's so many people just like them. So yeah, yeah, totally. There's, yeah. there's definitely, they all will have somebody that they can like admire or realize like, yo, like I'm me and that's okay. You know, yeah. as opposed to, as opposed to just like shutting down and, and not doing anything about it and, you know, being something that they're totally not, you know, they're all of a sudden they're, they're wrestling or something and they despise know. that, you <laughs> know what I mean? Like, they not, they don't want to be doing that. But, no. Uh, so no. I, I, I think that's really awesome. And, uh, and with this, like, um, with your music, like, how would you like describe it? Like in terms of like sound? Cause like I kind of said earlier, it's like pop music, but it feels like an edgy type pop music. Yeah, you know, simple, you know? I feel that too. I feel like it's definitely, you know, it has little hints of alternative. It has like yeah. hints of, I guess, um, pop music, whatever that means. Um, yeah, I know. You know I guess me, it's just like, like broad spectrum. Yeah, <laughs> but I think it's like dark and moody, but it can also be, you know, fun and energetic and um, even sensual. Like I feel like it, like every Sounds like a Bumble today, profile. Oh, sorry. What? Sounds like a Bumble profile. Yeah, no, because that's like my personality, though. Any, like, I feel like I don't want my sound to be only viewed as one layer of a mood because it's like, well, I'm like a, I'm, I have many moods. I'm like, yeah. I'm a Gemini also, so like, I don't know if like you. So you are all over the place. <laughs> I am all over the place. So I have so <laughs> many different sides to me. So I feel like that's why it comes out through the music too, is because like you can hear a song that's just like so fun and bouncy and energetic. And then there's another song that's like really dark and moody and like, so I kind of always love to play between the like duality of both because that's like how I am as a person. So um, yeah, I, I would describe the sound pretty dark and, and fun and pop. I don't know what that means, but yeah. <laughs> that's, but that's what it is. <laughs> you know, you can't categorize it all in one way nowadays. Yeah, it's you know? hard. It's hard to yeah. categorize, but it's definitely, you, you definitely got it. It's definitely, exactly what you said I would say like alternative dark pop whatever yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's for sure well how about we uh how about we hear some of it yeah let's get into it all right let's do it hi guys it's Gia Woods here and I'm gonna be playing a couple of songs for you guys this first song is off my debut EP cut season and this song is called Eco I wrote this about a relationship that I was in that was having a bunch of ego trips and you know neither of us were willing to meet in the middle and it was just a lot of back and forth fighting. Um, so yeah, this is called Ego. <laughs> The 
next song is one of my favorite songs off this EP because this one has so many references that I grew up listening to, like Radiohead and No Doubt and Green Day. And I feel like every time I hear this song, I feel like I'm back in my childhood. And this song is just super nostalgic for me and one of my favorites. This one's called Naive. today and this one I never performed acoustic before so here we are um this one is about being in a relationship that's completely toxic and completely wrong for you but for some reason you just keep going back to this person and this relationship and it's a bit masochistic this one's called into it
guys so so much for tuning in thank you z100 thank you iHeartRadio. thank you duncan um this was such an honor to be a part of and i hope you guys are doing well and you guys are all safe and i hope we can all reunite again i love you guys so much if you don't follow me already my name is gia woods follow me at, at gia woods on all socials and check out my ep cut season because i promise you you will not be sorry <laughs> all right you guys love you so much Bye, guys. yo there you go gia woods give it up for her even you know you're sitting you're sitting watching this just clap for wherever you are doesn't matter if you're on you know a school bus or something very cool well, yo that, that that was really really dope thank you thank you so much for sure, for sure. By the way, where uh, where can people connect with you? Like, what's your social media handles and everything? At Gia Woods, honey. Just that's it. Oh, you got the you got like the name. I got not, the name on all the not, socials. <laughs> that's amazing. You're not Gia Woods one. You're not nope. Gia Woods with a couple O's. Good for oh, you. Oh hell no, we don't like that. That's the worst. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. I'd rather that's not. The worst. I feel bad right? because people can't do that. I'm like, I'm sorry, honey. Like your last name's oh. just that generic. Like, what's yeah. That? Well, what's pretty generic to you? I feel like, but. What was it? <laughs> What's is a pretty pretty generic last name, but I got lucky, so <laughs> I know. Well, especially like that with that last name, like that's that's a pretty like common last name. So you think, yeah, oh my so, god, I'm, I'm yeah. screwed with it. <laughs> so at Gia Woods, all socials, you know, you know where to find me. <laughs> super simple, super simple. Yes, yes, yes. For sure, for sure. Yo, we got one more question to ask you. And uh this one, this is this is a hard hitting question. Okay. I don't, I don't know if you. I don't know if you're ready, but uh, if you could drink a Dunkin' latte with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? Easy. So Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. Madonna. <laughs> she is like my i like icon. She's my all-time favorite artist of the entire decade. Like she, okay. she's just so amazing in every single way. And I am. I've been dying to meet. The woman like i've been dying to meet her and she hasn't played a show in forever so i haven't been able to yeah. go to that um i did like almost once end up at one of her halloween parties i think it was in new york oh no way yeah like uh, my my ex-partner's friend who's like a choreographer is really really close with her like i guess he i think he works with her a lot and um okay. he invited us and he was like yeah she's having a party like come through and i was like Madonna, are you kidding? Of course I'll be there. And then what do you know? I fell asleep. I fell asleep. No. I, fell asleep. I know. Come on. I, was, I know. It was because I got off a flight. I think it was like we got off the flight from LA to New York the night before. I was exhausted. We were also in the middle of getting drinks with like friends we were just seeing, you know, you know, from like not seeing from a while. And I think all of that combined, like I went home to like change and like get ready. And what's weird is I just don't remember passing out. <laughs> like, I think I That's even worse. <laughs> That's the worst. And I wasn't even like, it's drunk like you had or no anything. Control. There was no excuse. Yeah. There was no excuse. I was just exhausted. And I woke oh. up and I'm not even kidding. I cried. <laughs> I woke <low key> you cry. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Madonna. Like, yeah, she she's my my number one. So that would be the one person that I would die to have a lot. That's awesome. A Dunkin' Latte, sorry. A Dunkin' Latte. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Very cool. Wait, what's uh, what what's your like favorite album from Madonna? Then, like, what 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 do you Honestly, listen to that just you feel like, oh my god, this is like this makes me. It changes. All over the it honestly changes because I feel like it really depends on you know where I am in the world, but like. For me right now, it's Ray of Light. Like, I okay. I love that album. She she really, she had so many different genres. That's the cool thing about Madonna. Like, she had so many moments of, like, you know, like, tapping into different things on yeah. you know, the whole trajectory. So uh, that's why I love her is because you can kind of find any Madonna album and it can kind of match whatever mood you're in. It's weird. It's, like, she just, do you listen to Madonna if you don't? You really should go. Uh, here and there. You know, I know, like, the, the, the typical ones. But. Try her. Trust me, you will not be okay. like, Try to listen to songs that you have never even heard of. Like, there's so okay. many. Oh, yeah. Because, like, I've heard, I've obviously heard, like, the radio singles and, like, you know, the, yeah. the, the, the hits. Of course. Or Bitch, I'm Madonna. Like, that song, like, are you going to Yeah, it? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sure you're familiar. But, like, definitely just take a listen. I promise you won't be disappointed. She's okay. <laughs> Madonna advocate right here. Let's go. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, yo, Gia, thank you so much for coming here, uh, spending the time with us today. Thank uh, you guys for, so for much for performing. Having.
For sure, for sure. And hopefully uh, when, when all this actually like ends, you can actually come into Z100 here in the yard. I would and, love uh, nothing more. That would be a dream come true. So. Um, totally, you can perform. We got, we, got a little, we got a nice little Dunkin' Latte stage that's just yes, sitting there doing nothing right now. Yes, Dunkin' Lattes on the side, please. Oh, oh no. The only will, thing that was yo, missing from this. The we'll only. hook you up with that. We'll hook you up with that. I'll make sure we get one of those, uh, the sausage, the Impossible Sausage Sandwiches. Done, done, period. And then, and then, and then ruin the vegan with some donuts. Oh my God, stop. I'm, I'm like, look at a donut right now. I'm like, not even gonna yeah. <laughs> That sounds so good. Well, yo, I'll, uh, we'll, we'll hang up so you can go get your donut then. Let's do it. Sounds good. All great. right. <laughs> Gia Woods, All right. thank you so much. Bye, guys. By the way, if you are watching this video and you want to share it, make sure you use the hashtag Duncan Latte Lounge. And for more performances, go to DuncanLatteLounge.com. Live from the Duncan Latte Lounge.